Hey, what's going on, people? Your boy, man, Mike here, man. Just want to give you guys an idea of further why the Atlanta Falcons had to draft an offensive lineman. They had to address the offensive lineman. And let's be frank, man. Um, the Falcons need help. They needed a ton of freaking help. Um, there were teams that were worse than the Atlanta Falcons as far as, far as you know, giving up sacks, hurries, and, you know, quarterback hicks and whatnot. But, you know, it's still pretty bad. All right, when you look at the Atlanta Falcons, I'm going to go down the line. And the first one was the Arizona Cardinals. Um, they gave up 52 sacks, 109 hits. Um, another team is the Dallas Cowboys, and they had a ton of injuries. 56 sacks, 107 quarterback hits. That's pretty bad. Um, the Green Bay Packers. As well, they had, whew, yeah, that's pretty bad. 53 sacks. Okay, Aaron Rodgers was sacked 53 times at 102 quarterback hits. That's that's pretty damn gone bad. All right, that's pretty damn bad. Um, Houston, Texas, they have a young quarterback, man. They have to do something about that, man. Deshaun Watson cannot continue to get sacked 60 two times in a year 126 okay 126 quarterback hits yeah that's pretty dang going bad all right that's number one when it comes to sack and hit ratio that's that's pretty damn bad that's pretty bad bro that's terrible um the Colts they bounced back pretty well uh, uh Andrew Luck was only sacked 18 times quarterback hit you know we hit uh, 72, 77 times. Um, so they bounced back pretty good. Um, uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars had an awful, awful year. Uh, 53 sacks on a quarterback. 111 hits. Um, the Miami Dolphins, 52 quarterback sacks. They gave up the offensive line, gave up 52 quarterback sacks um uh, the oakland raiders 52 sacks and philadelphia eagles they are i mean they are in the middle of the pack so that's fairly you know decent 49ers 125 quarterback hits and 48 sacks even up the seattle seahawks had a pretty bad um offensive lineman so they need a guy who can run around and whatnot like russell wilson um, or else they would have been a lot better. But when you look at this chart, man, the Atlanta Falcons, um, they, when it compares to, you know, previous years, this is pretty bad. And when you're paying Matt Ryan so much money, um, $150 million, $30 million a year, you got to protect the quarterback, all right? In 2017, they only gave up 24 sacks. So to jump up from 24 sacks, uh, given up in a year, 87 quarterback hits. Um, this is pretty freaking bad, all right? Um, even go back to 2016, um, they had a they had a pretty good year. Uh, they gave up only 37 sacks, 120, uh, 106 quarterback hits. So when you look at it, man, the Falcons' offense is just getting much worse. Um, you can contribute a lot of that to the play calling. So Steve Sarkeesian had to go, but when you have... Um, a much better play caller and uh, dirt cutter from Steve Sarkeesian. Look, man, look, just look at the attempts. Just look at the attempts of passes. 617 attempts in 2018. 2017, 530. All right? 2016, 537. So when you look at it, man, um, the Atlanta Falcons just, whew, good gracious. All right, you, you have to protect Matt Ryan and this is another one of the reasons why you know Pat man the real Pat man uh, he gives us a ton of information man like they, like I said that guy's a freaking genius man and got to give him all the credit for handing me this chart to kind of give an idea of why the Atlanta Falcons had to uh improve the offensive climate so let me know what you guys think about this man um are you uh coming to grips with the Atlanta Falcons Drafting both Caleb McGarry. I got his name right this time. I got Caleb McGarry name right this time. Chris Lindstrom. Um, but man, look, 
let me know what you guys think about the draft, man. If you finally come to grips, do you like? Are you finally happy with those picks? Leave your comments below. Your boy, Mike. What's up, man? Peace.